hey, we got this really interesting integral here from the MIT Integration B 2022. This was problem number two. Okay, so to get started, we have inverse tan x plus inverse cotangent x over x. And we're going to evaluate that, integrate that from square root of 3 to 1. The first thing I notice, we usually, right off the bat, we don't really have a great way to integrate these. So we're typically going to use integration by parts because that's going to allow us to differentiate those. And then we can set that up and then we can integrate this, our 1 over x, which is going to be this part right here. So let's set that up with the DI method or tabular integration, integration by parts. So we'll have our two columns, our D to differentiate, I to integrate, and we're going to have to differentiate, we're going to differentiate inverse tan x plus inverse, but I'm just, instead of writing, I don't really like writing arc tan, so I'm writing it cotan inverse, even though no one really likes this negative one notation. And then we're going to integrate our 1 over x. So then when we differentiate this, the, the derivative of tan inverse is just 1 over x squared plus 1. But then our derivative of cotangent, inverse cotangent, is really similar. It's just negative 1 over x squared plus 1, which is really nice because that's going to give us a 0 right there. And then over here, our integral of 1 over x is just going to be ln absolute value x. So then we're actually going to have something pretty simple to evaluate. Well, not that simple, but we're going to have this diagonal to evaluate. Okay, then let's, taking this diagonal, let's evaluate this expression. So we're going to have tan inverse x plus cotangent inverse x. Um, then ln absolute value x. And we're evaluating from square root of 3 to 1. And then what we can notice now is that when we when we do plug in our 1 into ln x, this term's just going to be 0. So really all we need to do is evaluate the square root of 3. So we're going to be evaluating tan inverse square root of 3 plus cotangent inverse square root of 3. ln, we can drop our absolute value, just ln of square root of 3. Tan inverse at square root of 3 is going to be pi over 3. And then plus cotan inverse, cotangent inverse at, pi, at square root of 3 is pi over 6. So together, this is actually, we could write this piece as 2 pi over 6. So together, this is 3 pi over 6 or pi over 2. So for our answer, we're going to have pi over 2 ln square root of 3. And one thing to notice here, though, we can write it this way, just using complementary angles, and then the tan inverse so the whole angle cancels out and we get our pi of 2 that way so we didn't they didn't really need to give us that easy angle but they did and so it works out nice so that's our solution MIT integration B 2022 problem number two